Hi everybody, Scott Wendell, your Iowa Association of Realtors Presidents here. Just wanted to give you kind of an update on what's going on, things that are coming up for the convention. But first of all, I wanna just give a shout out to all the realtors throughout the state of how proud I am of being able to adapt to all this COVID-19 stuff, uh, keeping, in keeping clients and colleagues safe, and to carry on business about as normal as we could. Uh, we're having a great year, real estate wise, and that's been proven by everybody's cooperation. Um, speaking of COVID, I just kind of want to give you a timeline of what has happened this year and how everybody has adapted so well. Um, our first item that we took care of is we did send a essential service letter to Governor Reynolds to let her know that real estate is definitely essential in the state. We were fortunate to get approved for that. There were a lot of states throughout the country that did not get approved and that definitely handicapped their market. Uh, we also had the remote notary. As you can remember last year with our legislative committee and our legislative session, we were able to, to pass an electronic notary bill that became law and Governor Reynolds uh, moved that up from January to the start of COVID. Uh, we also came out with the COVID addendum. Uh, there were a lot of unknowns and with the COVID addendum kind of put some sellers, buyers, and even realtors at ease on how to handle it, the liability, and that was well used as well. Uh, our other item that we put on was the COVID resources webpage and legal facts page, basically to try to keep members as informed as possible about COVID and uh, basically how to keep people safe and healthy out there also. Uh, we closed the office. Uh, the fortunate thing about closing the office is the staff still kept on working. Business as normal, even uh, actually business more than normal. I was receiving emails, text after hours, and I want to just thank the staff for going above and beyond and uh, taking care of our backs during this COVID time and keeping business going on as usual. Uh, we also had video updates from our CEO, Gavin, and our leadership team to keep people informed of what was going on throughout the process. We also had uh, Gabe Walsh, our attorney, give legal breakdown videos throughout this uh, year to give people updates on what's going on uh, and also just help educate our realtor members. Uh, one big advantage that we had this year is with the CARES Act, we had our independent contractor status as realtors included with the PPP program. And I know many realtors out there that took advantage of that program to keep their business going and uh, keep it strong. Uh, we also went completely online with education. Uh, I tell you what, the best side of, I guess, effect of that is uh, there's a lot of education opportunities that were taken advantage of. A lot of people got their continuing ed. They didn't skip a beat at all with, uh, you know, coming up with renewals uh, later on this year for people that are due. Uh, I also wanted to talk to you about RPAC. Uh, i give you the RPAC update. Right now, we're about $141,000 short of our goal. Uh, I know that we have an auction coming up that we have almost 80 items that are on there. So watch for info on that the first part of October when that comes out. Uh, with our $141,000 uh, shortfall on our goal, but we were able to uh, way max out our major investor status. We're at 102 members right now. President Circle, we blew that out of the water. We're at 35 right now. Uh, I also wanted to talk about derecho. Uh, of course, everybody's aware of the derecho that went through the state of Iowa. I've never heard of anything like it until it actually happened. And the devastation was unbelievable, especially the Cedar Rapids area. Uh, we were able to apply for grants from NAR. They awarded us $250,000 to be used towards relief. So far, we've had almost $200,000 go out to uh, victims of the derecho and if you know of anybody that has been affected by that and does not know about the program please send them the information it's on the Iowa Realtors website it explains everything out and uh, it's actually a pretty easy form to fill out to see if you do qualify uh, that is uh, with all of our virtual classes uh, you know we want to thank Dottie and Chris uh, with all these classes, they have to be monitored and audited. So they are sitting in front of the screen, just like you are that took classes to, uh, to make sure that you're there and it counts. With that said, I want you guys to have a great convention that's coming up. I'll take advantage of all the great speakers, the very inexpensive 
education and continuing ed, as well as the motivational videos that will be included as well. Uh, that's all I have to say. Enjoy your week, stay safe, and stay healthy. I'm your commission check. You've worked your butt off to get to this real estate closing today and get paid, but it seems like somebody's always trying to take some of your money away from you. Congratulations, guys, you own a house. Thank, Thank you. you. Back off, Uncle Sam, I worked hard for this. I showed him 74 houses. I'll spend this money better than you ever could. Ah! Fortunately, with realtor support for our pack, we've been able to fight off several attempts to further tax your real estate commission. So invest in our pack today and be better protected against mayhem like me. Man, I can't believe that my buyer's closing today almost got delayed because of this time of transfer mandated sump pump inspection. You know, what are you gonna do about it? Our pack. I mean, have you had your mandatory sidewalk inspections? What? Our pack. Have you had your mandatory downspouts inspections? Oh my Our pack. You know, at Vomino's Termite, we could take care of all that stuff for you for an extra fee. Our pack. Oh, Our man, pack. You Our gotta pack. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go do it. Our pack. Our pack. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, it's fine. Except, I wish we didn't have to deal with these stupid time of transfer inspections. Time of transfer? You do realize that with the help of RPAC, we passed legislation last year to ban all mandates for time of transfer inspections? What? Really? Yeah. I guess I better invest in RPAC. I guess you better. It's about time. RPAC! RPAC! Thank you to Iowa Property Exchange 1031 for being our session sponsor. IPE 1031 provides exchange accommodation services for all types of exchanges, including delayed, reverse, and improvement exchanges. All exchangers are accommodated in-house by highly qualified personnel and certified exchange specialists. Thank you to the Iowa Finance Authority for being an IAR annual sponsor. From mortgage or down payment assistance and rental programs that provide affordable homes to low-cost funds for drinking water, help for beginning farmers, and more, the Iowa Finance Authority impacts all Iowans. 
Thank you to Associations Marketing Group for being our keynote sponsor. Associations Marketing Group is a proud longtime partner of IAR and currently offers an association dental and vision plan, simplified life insurance, and group or individual health insurance to the membership. Lee Patton and his team look forward to working with you. Thank you to VHT Studios for being our grand prize sponsor. The nation's leading real estate photography and visual marketing provider, VHT Studios, is excited to be supporting the Iowa Association of Realtors. They have helped the very best realtors market and sell properties by providing unrivaled professional photography, 3D tours, video, and virtual staging. Thank you to the Des Moines Area Association of Realtors for being the virtual convention's premier sponsor. DMAR is proud to be the voice for real estate in the Des Moines area elevating professional services of our members as they meet the needs of their customers and our community. Hi, Jen Burkamper, your 2021 president. With as many detours as 2020 has thrown our way, we were lucky to have Scott Wendell behind the wheel guiding our association. So if you get a moment, please take the time to thank him. It has been a challenging year and we're all looking forward and excited to focus forward on 2021. So the first thing we'll be doing as soon as convention is over is a new strategic plan. And we're looking at a three to five year strategic plan and Elizabeth Mendenhall will be helping us with that. So we're ex very excited about that and you should have received just last week an email because we're looking for volunteers to um, join one of our five focus groups that we want to interview to find out different ways we can improve the association. We did, if you remember, uh, a member survey earlier this year and we wanted you to know that we've really reviewed, examined that uh, survey and we've listened to you and we're putting a lot of things into place to make the association better. So we want to thank you for all of you for filling out that survey. And if you're interested in giving us more information, we're always open to hearing that. A um, Couple things that have come out of the survey are that we're implementing right away is last week we just implemented a or approved at our board of directors a tech hotline, which will help if you have, similar to what our legal hotline is that everybody uh, has used at one point or time, the tech hotline will help you if you're having any uh, general computer issues. So if you don't know how to open your PDF, you can call the hotline and they'll direct you on how to do that. A couple other things that um, have come out of that is you know, I fought this for years, but the benchmark is going virtual. Uh, the time has come and we're really excited for what opportunities that will have. Um, I think you'll like the format that we're looking at and you can look for that early next year. We also have committed this year to developing our local leaders and state leaders. So we have put a lot of efforts into holding our Leadership Institute every year, and that is in process right now. Thank you for attending convention. We hope you enjoy the sessions, and I look forward to serving as your 2021 president. Here's what to expect at convention this week to help you have the best experience possible. First, go to iowarealtors.com backslash convention. Then select, click here to join the virtual convention sessions. Then log in with your email and nerds number to the lobby page. Here you will see all the sessions that you originally selected when you registered. When you join the Zoom session, you will be on mute. During the session, if you wish to ask a question, you can use the chat function within Zoom. Please remain seated. We do not allow driving or talking to others during these sessions. We treat this just like a classroom. If you log into a CE session and decide to leave, you will not receive credit if you try to log back in. Please work with IAR staff if you are experiencing technical difficulties. All attendees need to have their own screen in order to receive CE credit. You can find links to join the live virtual sessions from the homepage on the event website or from the main page on iowarealtors.com. Simply click Join the Virtual Convention button. A Join Now button will turn blue 25 minutes prior to the session beginning. 
If you have difficulty during the virtual convention, please email IAR staff at convention at iowarealtors.com. Certificates will be available after October 15th by logging into my account at iowarealtors.com. From here, click events and then my classes 